A few weeks ago, I got a question from a viewer that went something like, I was searching for the video where you talked about X, and I was wondering if you knew which video that was in, so I don't have to watch them all. And unfortunately, my answer was no. I sometimes have the same problem. I'm pretty sure I've covered a topic before, but can't find the video. I'm a bit between videos right now, as I'm deeply involved in one of my volunteer gigs, installing the Garden Delights Holiday Light Display in Bellevue, Washington. You should really come to look at them if you're in the area. Tickets are cheap, and it's a great show. And I don't have the brain power left to do videos, but I spent years writing code in that state, so I decided to spend my time doing that. It was high time that Eager Space had a website, so I went online to Namecheap to buy one, only to find that I bought eagerspace.net back in May of 2024, and then apparently promptly forgot about it. I set up the domain to my host, put up an empty page, and I was ready to start. Time to fire up Visual Studio Community and write some C-sharp code to pull the notes out of the PowerPoint presentations and create some HTML pages. Then some code to munch them together, code to upload files with FTP, etc. And I'm pretty happy with the result. And now it's time for a demo, but I should do a little to temper your expectations. This is a pure HTML site with a sprinkling of CSS to make it a little less bad. And it's exactly what you should expect from a developer who spent most of his time writing server and desktop code. On to the demo. Here's the website. I recently wanted to find a graph that I'd created showing a return to launch site trajectory. With over 100 videos, I couldn't remember which presentation it was in. I did remember that it talked about flying down range. So we're going to click on the all video text link, and that will take us to a page with all the speaker notes for all the videos. I'll search the web page for downrange. The first hit is about gateway. We click forward a few times. And the fourth match is about reducing boost back losses through a lofted trajectory. That seems promising. We can just click on the slide title and that will take us to the slide in this specific presentation. Scroll up to the top of the page and we see that this is in the video titled Starship Optimization, New Rockets, New Trade-Offs. You can probably figure out what the watch button does. If you think you know what video you're looking for, you can go to the videos page and find it there. The website also has support, community, and about pages that do pretty much what you expect them to do. That's all the website does now. It will probably do more in the future. At this point, I should perhaps comment on the rumor that I am destitute, look it up, and in danger of having insufficient quantities of Coke Zero and pork rinds to be able to continue making videos. This rumor is unfounded. My ability to purchase chicharrones is formidable, limited only by the fact that the market I get them from only makes one batch a day, and they sell out quickly. I am, in fact, quite comfortably retired. All I ask is that you like the videos that you like, and subscribe if you have yet to do so. But since people have asked, there is a support page on the website with a link to my Patreon, but you should probably spend your money elsewhere. I'm not asking for money, but I am looking for help. The website is functional, but deliberately ugly. I've found that if you create ugly stuff, people are more likely to want to help you. So I'm looking for a website designer. I'm also looking for an artist to do some channel work, some website work, and maybe some other stuff. Style is 1950s, 1960s pulp science fiction. If you look at the Teller's Tachyon Tablets design, it's that sort of look. I'd like to stress that both of these are paid gigs. I'm also looking for volunteers to help create slide-by-slide -slide transcripts from the earlier videos, before I wrote speaker notes. That involves taking the transcript that YouTube creates and massaging it into text that is separated into separate slides, along with some light editing to break it into sentences and make me sound slightly less stupid. If you're interested in any of those, contact me on Twix or Reddit. I have low expectations for this one, and I'm fine if you're ambivalent. I'm also okay if you're ambidextrous.